Near the end of King Saul's reign, he was a very troubled man. The army of the Philistines was on its way to attack Israel, and Saul found himself in a dangerous situation. He had prayed to the Lord for guidance on what to do, but the Lord had not answered the sinful king. Saul wished that Samuel had still been around to give him guidance from the Lord, but alas, Samuel was dead. But then Saul got an idea. He could try to contact Samuel's spirit through necromancy. Necromancy had been banned in the kingdom by Saul himself, but with still no response from the Lord, he decided he was out of options. Attendant, come to me. I must speak with you. What do you require, O king? Where can I find a woman who consults with the spirits of the dead? It is known that there is a woman in Endor who practices such witchcraft. After discovering the location of the Witch of Endor, Saul disguised himself for fear of being recognized and set out to Endor to find the woman. Before long, Saul arrived at Endor and spoke with the woman. I want you to raise for me a spirit from the land of the dead. Have you not heard what King Saul has been doing to witches and necromancers like myself? What if one of Saul's men hears of this? Are you trying to get me killed? As surely as the Lord lives, no harm will come to you because of this. Oh, very well. Who is it then that you wish for me to raise for you? Samuel, the prophet. So, using secret spells and dark incantations, the witch attempted to summon the spirit of Samuel. Shortly thereafter, the spirit of Samuel himself rose from the earth. Upon seeing the spirit, the witch was shocked. Perhaps this was more than she had bargained for. It was then that the witch recognized the king. You! Why have you deceived me? You are Saul! The spirit then spoke to Saul. Why have you disturbed me, Saul? Please, O oh Samuel, I need your wisdom. The Philistine army is about to attack Israel, and I do not know what to do. O oh Saul, you have been a sinful and disobedient king. The Lord has turned away from you and become your enemy. I cannot help you anymore. Soon, Israel will be handed over to the Philistines, and you, O oh Saul, will die. No! This is the story of King Saul and the Witch of Endor, and how the spirit of Samuel was raised up to tell Saul of his impending doom. However, some have contended that it was in fact not Samuel's spirit that was raised up. Some say that it was indeed a demon or some other spirit only imitating Samuel. But which was it? And what implications does all of this have upon our theology today?